Hi, today we're going to talk about something special, hosting, hosting agreement and hosting relationship. I'm going to give you some tips about it. Let's begin. Hi, my name is Martis. I make daily video about business, legal and intellectual property. What is intellectual property? Think about copyright, trademark, and patent. If you want to know more about these things, feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, don't. It's up to you. The thing is, um, in this video, we want to talk about hosting agreement and what you need to watch out for and especially what you can do if you do not have that yet. So, let's look at the drawing board. So, we're going to go at drawing board. And we're going to discuss some uh, relationship and then I'm going to give you some tips which you need to consider when you have a hosting agreement. So most of the time people, when they need a website, it needs to be host somewhere and you need to have a hosting agreement with them host. I'm not going to talk about the privacy stuff, but I'm going to, but, uh, I'm going to talk about the most important stuff. I'm not saying privacy is not important, but I'm not, I don't want to make this video too long. So that's the thing. Uh, this is you. You have a website, and the web website needs to be host somewhere. So let's say at company X. You have to have an agreement with company X. But most of the time, company X has, uh, let's say, terms. You need to accept them, and then you can host your your website on their host. So you have an agreement by accepting their terms. As soon as you accept the terms, you have an agreement. That's simple. Another situation you have is imagine a company give you special treatment. You get your own host. You have an agreement with them and they are giving you an agreement from them. Not the terms of condition, but just an agreement. What's the difference? Here, you just accept the terms and pay the price for and you get it. You have an agreement. Here you get the contract, you sign it, you get it. Technically, it's the same, but the, the how do you call it? The terms or the agreement can be different because this is based on a uh, general terms of agreement. This is based on a contract. Yeah. So when you want to host your website, there's something you need to watch out for. I will come back to that. But imagine you are the hoster. If you're hosting a website for someone, make sure you have an agreement. Make sure that you're going to um, get uh, money compensation for um, hosting the website because they're hosting it on your server. They need to pay for it. So what you need to do is when they're hosting on your servers, offer them a contract. And when they sign a contract, they pay for it. And then you put it on your hoster. It's that simple. So you can make your own terms of condition, but you can also make your own contract. I prefer contract because for contract you have a contract with the person special. If you have a lot of clients, it's better to have a terms of condition. Okay, what do you need to put on a contract? What do you need to put in the terms? Let's talk. Let's talk about these things. Yeah. The thing is, most important thing is the fee. If you're a hosting company, make sure you have a fee, and make sure it's clear what kind of services you're offering those people. Because if it's not clear, then people do not know what they are paying for if you're offering a small space tell them you're paying for this small space if you're, talk, if you're talking about a big space tell them about that the speed is also important most people don't do that so that's an uh, important thing be clear about your hosting service what are you offering and what's important with this, with your service and another thing what's important is make sure it's clear that when the contract can be finished because for some people it's not clear they think okay as soon as as long as they pay the contract will keep going but if something happened or if something happened with the service you can uh, terminate the contract make sure you watch out for these kind of things okay another thing is what you need to make sure is it's hard to uh, enforce but you need to make sure put in a contract or put in the terms hey when you put something on the website, make sure it's yours. That it's not, uh, how do you say, it's not, um, it's not breaking any law or anything. 
because um, sometimes you have people that put copyright things on their website while they do not own the copyright and the thing is they get a letter but they don't respond but the host of the company will get a letter second let me give you an example um, one of the client in the past used a picture on Google got sued and the host of the company um, he got a letter but also the hosting company got a letter uh, that he needs to remove the picture of the, on the server so watch out for those things if you host the company you can also get a letter from uh, the ip lawyer of someone else so you need to watch out for it so that's something about it make sure you make some rules or terms about copyright and other stuff and make sure if you kind of keep it that can be your reason to terminate the contract and if you are a customer and you're hosting watch out when you put things on your website make sure you own those rights or make sure you have a license if you don't you can get a problem for that so with hosting agreement it can be a lot of things okay hosting service can be a lot of things it can be just the hosting service but it can also be email service of uh, storefront e-commerce service it can be anything but what you need to make sure is that make sure you have a um, the make sure you tell the customer the price because if you do not tell them the price it's going to be difficult um, to determine what kind of service are you putting in for that price or not let me give you an example if you're hosting server you offer only hosting and you put on this if this price is clear but if you're hosting services and you're offering hosting services but you do not um you name the price but you not name the what kind of service you're offering but you're giving your clients for example email account web development a lot of stuff for that price then you may have a problem so what you need to make sure is make sure it's clear for um, if your customer getting a package or make sure your customer getting this price for this service because I see a lot of company making package the package will become bigger 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 but the price will become slower um, smaller 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 and the problem with that is at the end of the month of the end of the uh, year they see that the profit is really low because they offer too much service but the price is really low so watch out for that and there's a lot of things about uh, hosting company i made a checklist if you're a special member of page you can download the checklist for free and you can use it if you're not you can contact me and i can see what i can do for you so that's it about hosting company if you have question about it Feel free to let me know. If you want to know how to become a special Patreon member, just go to the Patreon website. You can see it in the description. If you have other question, feel free to let me know, and I will see you in the next video.